A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born of you will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your Elizabeth, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her to who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. How can this be since I'm a virgin? It was not a rhetorical question. The Blessed Virgin Mary did not doubt the power of God. She was sincerely asking what would happen to her. In the meantime, looking at her humble conditions, she probably questioned herself how she could carry out the unfathomable God's plan of salvation. She was not a princess of a powerful kingdom or an heiress of a vast riches. She could not even imagine what or how the plan of salvation was going to unfold. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. Mary did not receive much detail of God's plan. All she heard was that she would bear a son of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. The archangel's explanation was too simple, for nothing will be impossible with God. Mary did not answer because she was informed enough about God's plan or a plan of, for her. She had to take a leap of faith. She threw herself in the hand of God without knowing what would happen to her. You might think, you are not called to be a saint. Perhaps sainthood sounds too holy for you. You might believe that it is impossible to be saints in our times. Our environments are too unholy, and we feel we are powerless against injustices and chaos around us. However, have you realized that we cannot go to heaven first without being saint. God asks every Christian to receive Jesus in his heart and life. We do not know how God will unfold his plan in our lives. But without our consent, even God cannot work for our salvation. God is asking for our leap of faith. Only when I give myself to God, Jesus can come into my heart and start growing and changing my life. 
can I throw myself in his hands? The Annunciation must occur to every Christian.